Only on 13 News Now, Hampton Roads has many monuments and memorials built in honor of our nation's fallen heroes. But what about their families who have endured so much loss and pain? There's nothing. Well, in an exclusive story, Mike Gooding tells us there's a new push to rectify that situation. Well, that's right, Janet. Some local vets are backing an effort to build a Gold Star Families Memorial Monument right here in downtown Norfolk. Dating back to the Revolutionary War, the United States has lost more than 2.8 million men and women in various wars, battles, and campaigns. That's 2.8 million families who forever have a member missing. There are monuments and statues aplenty to honor the fallen heroes, but here in Hampton Roads, there is nothing to salute their families until now. Yeah, we always forget our, about our loved ones that we leave behind, and they're still there, although we're not. And so we need to leave something for them to know that they are not forgotten. The idea working with the Herschel Woody Williams Medal of Honor Foundation is to build the Gold Star Families Memorial Monument and place it in Wisconsin Square in Norfolk in the shadow of the famous battleship amid several other tributes that are already in place there. The effort is being led by Navy veteran Joe Wofford and former Navy SEAL and Combat Wounded Coalition founder Jason Redman, who say such a marker is long overdue. Uh, I look at so many of these granite walls and think that my name should be on it, that that could be my wife, it could be my family that's going through this pain. And uh, so, yes, we want to take care of them. The Combat Wounded Coalition strives to take care of them. And this is just an extension of that, you know, honoring them and remembering them. Of course, something like this isn't free. It costs money. Organizers are trying to raise $60,000. And if you'd like to contribute to the cause and help make this monument into a reality, you can. We have a link to the nonprofit Herschel Woody Williams Medal of Honor Foundation. It's on our website, 13newsnow.com, under links in the news. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.